to Draw Faces and Features by Fritz Willis. This book was a birthday present for my 13th birthday. It was accompanied by a box, a wooden box shaped very much like a suitcase with a handle at one end, and it was filled with oil paints, and canvas boards, and a palette, palette knife, brushes. It was a gift from my grandmother. On the inside cover, there was a letter printed from the publisher of the company that began Dear Art Enthusiast. It made me feel pretty special. There was also um, an introduction to the artist, Fritz Willis. Now, among some interesting accomplishments at school, he was also reportedly a published illustrator for Collier, Red Book, and the Saturday Evening Post. It sounded very prestigious, very important. While I undoubtedly read this book from cover to cover within the first few minutes of having it, I didn't ever, or I don't recall ever, actually doing any of the exercise from this, although I'm sure I gleaned lots of tips and pointers about how to draw the face and features, and lips and eyes. That's why I'm taking the liberty to do it today. I've even used the specified uh, color palette which consists of colors that I don't normally use. It's referred to as a limited color palette in the book with burnt umber, cadmium green pale, Venetian red, yellow ochre, and titanium white. And honestly, that green underpainting as recommended in the book kind of gave my painting like a little bit of a She-Hulk vibe for a while until I got it all worked out, but it does add a layer of depth and richness. Layering paint, especially in thinner layers um, with acrylics in this case, really does add an amount of depth and interest to a painting. my grandmother knew that I would appreciate this book because I'd always had an interest in art and I would had a particular interest in her how to draw and paint books. She had a room in her house that was full of projects, sewing projects, bolts of fabric, yarn for crocheting, uh, paints for painting, and books, just very similar to this as a matter of fact, probably by the same publisher. And I pored over those books when I had the opportunity at her house. Things like how to draw barns, how to draw horses, uh, painting landscapes, painting roses and flowers, ooh, and still lifes. I coveted those books. So I was thrilled when she sent me one about how to draw faces. While I can't recall what the first thing I painted with my new kit was, it probably wasn't a face. It was probably something a little more familiar, um, like a landscape, while I got used to oil paints. I'd never used oil paints before, and the whole gift, the whole idea of it, really made me feel mature. Like, what a perfect birthday present to get something that makes you feel elevated, fancy, and responsible in some capacity. Like, you passed watercolors, you're too old for crayons, it's time to try something that real artists use. Even the wording within the book itself felt really mature. 
This drawing captures a combination of innocence and sophistication. The short, round nose and soft facial lines are in direct contrast to the full lips, generous mouth, and dark-lashed, mysterious look of the eyes. Wow, generous mouth. That sounds like something from a romance novel. Of course, as I do when I come across something like this or I have an idea to have a, a video about a thing, I always do research. In my research of Fritz Willis, I found that the description at the beginning of the Walter Foster art book wasn't exactly all inclusive of Mr. Willis's resume. Despite what the inside cover of the book says, Fritz Willis is best known for his pinup girl art. I think my grandmother might have been scandalized if she'd known that. Giving her granddaughter a book about art by the same artist that made her blush with his pinup girls at the tire store. But I do like thinking about all the aspiring artists, both young and old, that learned about faces and features from this book. And with my exercise complete, I have a painting that looks similar to the style of Fritz Willis. And the thing that is so striking to me is how positively 1960s that color scheme makes everything look. I'm glad I finally took the time to really follow the instructions in this book, even though I've had it for a very long time. I think grandma might be proud, scandalized, but proud. <laughs>